My name is Pamela Edmonds, and I'm the senior curator at the McMaster Museum of Art. This exhibition is Tim Whiten's Elemental Ethereal, is part of a four-part survey exhibition. The show is about learning to recognize the sacred in our everyday world. There are objects, there are materials in our everyday world that teach us about the divine. And the works that Tim makes are about recognizing those elements and those materials. Part of the trajectory of his work is that it, it is definitely about African traditions and spirituality. What I started to understand when I saw Tim's work was that I understood it intuitively because of my ancestry crushed glass was placed on graves. You know, that's something that slaves did in order to connect to their own traditional histories, even doing like using cobalt glass, blue glass on trees, and the blue glass was meant to capture spirits. I was kind of fascinated with the fact that Tim doesn't consider himself an artist with a capital A. He considers himself a maker of cultural objects. I'm interested in artists who defy categorization. I'm always somebody who's interested in how to break out of those binaries. I think sometimes people kind of get caught up in trying to figure out what it should be. What I appreciate with Tim is like, if you move it away from this idea of art, but it's a cultural object, it's something that you can enter into a differently. And I think what Tim's work is doing is that it's exploring life and death. And it's exploring that through reliquaries and through relics and through how we remember those that have passed on a transition. These different objects are things that hold objects of the dead or meant to represent that. It's important to honor where, you know, where we came from and how we survived. With the magic sticks, he's covering these pieces of wood with leather. It's like it's a protection, but it's also, it's hiding the material underneath. And it's, it's about kind of that positionality that we're constantly struggling with, of being sort of really hyper-visible, but then invisible. And then how, do you how does that manifest itself in sort of a physical I idea? The ideas of air and the celestial and the heavenly and the divine are what I was looking to explore. And I wanted to create a space, a sanctuary, like I said. For, the, for, this, um, for this exhibition. He's here to teach us something about ourselves. What can we learn from the earth and but also from the spirit? That's why, you know, the works are hung at the heart level, a lot of them, because he's about connecting to the soul.